Hey, welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. For all you parents out there, you're probably starting to think about Christmas and the upcoming holidays. Well, there comes a time when you need to purge some items to make room for the new ones that all that money you're going to spend at Christmas time, you need to make space for. Joining me today is professional organiser, Sarah. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, my friend. And we're talking about getting rid of toys. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't say just throw them out. No. Like my mother would make us do. She was a nasty. That's what I was like. I was like, are we just going <laughs> to throw all this away? And she's like, no, no, we're going to break it down. Right. So what? where do we start? Well, we will start with what's easy first, which is some things will get thrown away. Things that are broken, missing parts and pieces. Yep. You don't want to donate or sell any of that stuff because, you know, no one wants that. Do you do this in your house? I do. Okay. It was just a question. I do. <laughs> okay. Um, me through it. So start with what's easy first, get rid of um, you know, the trash, and then sort through what you want to keep. Mm. Um, and then also it's easier to get rid of things that are no longer age appropriate. So baby toys and once your kids get a little older, which I know can be hard to do because no one wants to admit their kids are growing up. But right, yeah. It's in the middle of that. Well, have you seen life. our news, our evening news anchor's desk out there, Tom? He still has all those little cars, yeah. which he buys as an adult, but <laughs> I thought they were for children. Well, that's a whole different story. They're all over his desk. <laughs> so I'm thinking we'll take these out there <laughs> just and, okay, just and we'll just donate sort them. through his toys. <laughs> he will flip, he I'm telling you. <laughs> and then, you know, you also want to get rid of things that aren't so obvious to get rid of, like duplicates, yep. like blocks. There's a million kinds of blocks. You really need Duplos, building blocks, alphabet blocks, wood blocks. Legos. Legos. One set of blocks is enough if you're trying to declutter and keep it contained. Well, here's the thing, I think, first, David. You have to go out and buy the box. Right. And yeah. then label it. And then, is this something you'd get the kids to help you with? You know, have you ever tried to declutter with kids? Hun, I don't They're even have a kid. <laughs> They're really just tiny what? little hoarders. I'm trying to work out why I'm helping <laughs> with the <this> segment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he, we just talked him out of kids, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Given the chance, kids will keep anything, so it's best to do it without them. They'll oh. even want to keep the trash. So oh, wait for them you. to go to the grandparents' house mm -hmm. or nap time and do it without okay. them. So it does make sense. Unless they're a little older, older kids probably want to be more involved because they'll you might start a fight if you don't. Right? They're like, "Mom, that was yeah. my favorite." Yeah. And you're like, "Okay." Oh. And so we've sorted it out. Yeah. So we've, we've sorted we've done it the out. Three steps. We've decided this is what then we're what? keeping. Take us through. So it. we're taking our keeps and you divide it into the different Let categories. I'm standing over here. I'll be your professional. Thank holder. you. So, so after you do what's easy, you divide all the toys into the different categories, all your cars, trucks, cars. that sort of thing. So that way you can see the amount that you really are keeping and uh, do you really put all your, need... Put all your animals put all in your one animals together. giraffe. I'm going to put that now with the cars. Troy, I don't know if you'd be good at this. This is, this is very tedious. I'm actually, I will say to very you, meticulous. I'm very organized at the house. I, so I, would you do this at your house? Well, even underneath my kitchen sink, I have new sponges, old sponges, all in its little containers and... Well, I don't actually do it, but well, you know. I, I just want to know what <laughs> Sarah, like what do you do with all this once you actually have it like organized? So you can donate, you can sell, and if you still feel like you have too much and don't have enough space for mm -hmm. everything, you can do toy switch out. Oh, okay. So you can Kids are excited to see toys that they haven't seen in a while. So you can keep baskets like this of toys that they have in a closet somewhere right. like that um, and switch them around. Okay. All right, where do you buy these little things? This so is good. These are I actually like these. from my favorite place ever, which is the dollar store. And they even. <laughs> I was I can about get to it say, to are these it. the I'm collapsable say, ones? Collapse. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that is nice. Look at this. I actually have one of these. Do you? And, and when I say this, I used to keep it in my car to put my ski gloves in. That's great. That's Do you know what I mean? I know it sounds such you a silly thing. just get this at the dollar oh. store? Yeah, yeah these I are love the dollar these. Store. But these, these and those are from Target, which is my other favorite uh, place ever. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how often should you do this? You know... Yearly, obviously. It, yearly, holiday time, when it's almost going to be a birthday, when they have a lot of toys coming in the house. Mm -hmm. But doing it periodically is a good way to keep the clutter down and, right. and keep it maintained. How do you feel about giving toys to like the next door neighbor? I think that's great too. You know, you can also do the switch out with the neighbor. You know, you don't Ooh, have to the hide trainer. these in a closet to yeah. switch them out with your own yeah. kids' toys. You could do that with the neighbors or with friends. Hey, Sarah, you're amazing. Thank you. I'd like you to do a wardrobe segment. Okay. Like maybe go to David's house and 
see how bad his wardrobe is. Uh, that would be actually wonderful. <laughs> I would <laughs> love for you to come to my house and do a second. I think that's a good idea. Let's do yeah. one on location. Uh, if you want to find out more information about Sarah, there it all is up on the screen, everyone. You've got to give her a call. She's going to reorganize your life and allow you to breathe and then spend a few more bucks on your kids. Who doesn't love that? We've got Lydia Sweetser up after the break, everyone. And she's going to show Lisa some workouts with a foam roller and she'll be crying because it's painful, everyone. <laughs> Stick with us. You're watching Midday Kentucky.